534 coming at you today with Cars and Clive, the antidote for your automotive hangover, coming at you every Monday at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, talking about everything in the car community, my thoughts, what's going on, what's new, what's happening. So today we're going to talk about some pet peeves that I personally have when I'm behind the wheel of a car, any car, not just this car. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to everyone who came and said what's up in both Atlanta for Streetcar Takeover, uh, that was like two weeks ago, and Ocean City, Maryland for Cruise Weekend, which was just yesterday we got back from that, and uh, it was a hell of a time <laughs> on the way back. We actually towed the truck down there with my girlfriend, or the car down there with my girlfriend's truck, and one of her brake lines busted, so we had a hell of a time fixing that in the storm, but we're back, we're alive, we made it, just a little hiccup, but uh, we're here, and I just wanted to thank all you guys who came and said, what's up, picked up one of these, we actually pretty much sold out of hoodies, so that was pretty amazing, uh, and it really speaks volumes to, to how, how this has evolved into what it has become, I don't want to sound braggy, but I'm just very happy with where we're at right now, thank you guys for watching this week, so let's get into talking about these pet peeves of mine, shall we? I guess there's not really any rhyme or reason to the order of this list. I'll kind of try and go like in order of least annoying to most annoying to see if I can handle that, but we're just gonna kind of go with it. So coming in, I guess at number four would be riding ass. So personally for me, if I'm driving in the right lane, I'm just cruising. If I'm going in the left lane, I'm going a little bit quicker than the rate of traffic. I'm trying to pass somebody, etc. If you ride my ass in either lane, I am going to go slower. You're not going to accomplish anything by riding somebody's ass. Seriously, if you want somebody to get out of your way, maybe high beam them. Don't get right up on their ass because if you get <laughs> if you get brake checked, it's going to be your fault when there's an accident. And honestly, wherever you need to go probably isn't that important that you need to be right on somebody's ass to get there. I mean, maybe if two people are going really slow next to each other and neither one is passing the other, it might get frustrating, but riding ass really isn't going to get you anywhere. It's just going to piss off the person in front of you. And if they're like me, they'll go slower to piss you off even more. And that'll just be the way things are and nothing will be accomplished. You'll be mad, they'll be mad, and it'll just be one big freaking circus. So don't ride ass. Number three on the countdown is when people stop to look at shit. There is no reason why you need to slow down to 20 miles per hour on a 65 mile an hour highway to look at some jackass who got pulled over for being an idiot. Yes, I do acknowledge that you need to drive safely because police officers are on the side of the road conducting their stop and they need to have a safe situation. You need to get over in the left lane if you can to avoid putting them in more danger. But when you go 20 miles an hour past the person who is stopped to look at them, you're making even more danger and, and like you're honestly probably just putting on your stupid Snapchat. Who doesn't get pissed off when they get stuck in a traffic jam for a half hour to get to the front and only see it was because people were being assholes and looking at something? Like, it pisses me off to no end, but it's still only number three. So what are number two and number one? These are kind of hard to differentiate between. They're actually kind of similar um, in a way and they're kind of hard to tell which one pisses me off more, but I'm going to have to go with number two being that person who waits until the last second to merge. If it says merge in one mile, you don't wait a mile to merge. You try to merge as soon as you can, that way traffic can keep on flowing smoothly. If you wait till the last second to merge, you're gonna cause a traffic jam. There's nothing more infuriating than that person who tries to get to the front of traffic to get somewhere 30 seconds quicker than you and in the process causes everybody a big delay because they wanted to be an asshole and merge in at the very last second. The number one most infuriating thing as far as pet peeves and traffic go for me is when people try to avoid a traffic jam by riding in the shoulder and passing everybody. Now, personally, I'm just kind of an asshole when it comes to people who are trying to be assholes on purpose. There's just one area whereby I live where there's two entrances on the one highway that splits off into two highways again. So basically, one side's always clogged up 
and the other side is always kind of clogged up because of those assholes that I mentioned before. They literally stop in the middle of a 65 mile an hour highway to try and merge over at the last second. I was on in this dead stop traffic once upon a time. People were going by me in the shoulder. So what do I do? I pull over in the shoulder and keep my place right there in the shoulder. Now there was one guy who wasn't very happy with this. He tried to pass everyone in the shoulder. I was in my truck at the time, so run into me, whatever. I'll get it fixed. Uh -oh. But he wasn't happy at all with me doing this. So I went over in the shoulder and sat there and he laid on his horn for like five minutes straight. Now when the traffic got to the point where it kind of dissipated, he pulled up next to me and gave me all these angry looks. I was laughing my ass off. I don't even know what, what this dude's deal was. He had somewhere to go in a hurry. Dude was so irate. And I probably didn't make the matter much better for him by sitting there and laughing when he was screaming at me, but it is what it is. Don't try and pass people on the shoulder. Your sense of self-importance doesn't matter to me when you're trying to f up traffic that I'm sitting in. So just know that if you ever come across me on the road. <laughs> After this, I sound like I drive like a complete douchebag, but it is what it is. That's my four things that I came up with that pissed me off in traffic. Uh, I get some pretty bad road rage sometimes. I, I don't actually go out there and try and fight people, but I scream at them passive aggressively behind the wheel of my truck or my car or whatever I'm driving. So leave in the comments below what your biggest fit of road rage is. What, what pisses you off to no end? Was it one of the four that I mentioned here? Is it something else entirely? Uh, leave it in the comments below and tell me what you get mad about on the road. Now that's about all that I have for this week guys. If you're new here, I appreciate you stomping on that subscribe button. We're so, so close to 100,000. I've been trying to get 100,000 for like the whole time that I've had this YouTube channel. They sent me a neat little plaque, so I wanna get to 100K. So we got 100,000 coming up. So thank you to everyone who has subscribed and continues to support. Thanks to everyone who has checked out the store and picked up something from there. Like I said, hoodies are almost out. We have another order on the way. So they will be in soon. We have some of the smaller sizes left though from large and below everything above that is sold out uh but yeah so if you guys want to stop over there check that out i appreciate it even if you don't i just appreciate everyone who takes their time to watch my videos it uh it helps me do what i do so thank you guys like it up if you enjoyed the video leave that comment below with what you think of uh the worst possible road rage offenses are road rage offenses are and i'll catch you guys every day in between now and next Monday, but next Monday, Cars and Clive will be back at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next week. Same time, same place from the cockpit of my 600-ish horsepower Corvette Z06. Thanks, guys. Talk to you next week.